Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how we can enable versioning in SharePoint document library or list. We will see this in SharePoint Online, Modern List and Modern Library. So let us see in details. First of all, let us understand what is SharePoint versioning. Versioning is a method by which a new changes to a document or an item are numbered and saved so that later you can compare with the previous versions or you can even restore it. So in SharePoint document library, there is the versioning that is supported are major versions and minor versions. So major versions like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like this. And when we talk about the minor version, meaning 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3 like this. But list will have only major versions and that's the difference between a list and library that library supports both major and minor version while a SharePoint list support only major versions. And also versioning is enabled by default when you will create a SharePoint library or a document library while when you will create a, a SharePoint list by default versioning is disabled. And just to uh, let you know for the developers the incremental changes or the changes that we will do from one version to another version that are stored in the SQL server or in the database rather storing the entire document again. So this way you can save the database space. So now let me open the SharePoint site so which will be a modern SharePoint site. You can see here this is a modern SharePoint site and this is a library training documents and I have also another one a SharePoint list which is training course details list. So now let me go back to the SharePoint library you can see here. So first of all where you can see the versioning settings you can click on this gear icon and then click on library settings. One, once you click on the library settings you can see here under general settings there is versioning settings. Once you click on the on the settings link as I said before versioning is enabled in the library you can see by default create a major version is enabled so that means every time you will modify something a major version will get created and also you have the option where you can set uh, the second option which is saying that you can create major and minor or the draft version so when you will select that you have also other options will come uh, like when you will select uh, create major version you can select up to how many versions that you want to save for example here if I will make it to 50 then what will happen is uh, after 50 completed the, the uh, list version will get deleted so that's how it will it will go on and when you will create a create major and minor version or the draft version you can see here uh, so you can set uh, how how many words, number of major verses that you can kept in draft so you can put a number here as well so this is how it will work the major version and the min minor version you can enable in SharePoint library now if you will select create major version and then click on ok which is uh, of course by so you can see one more thing that uh, uh, I didn't notice this thing before so you must enter a number between 100 to 5000 so that means you have to set a minimum of 100 major versions that you want to save so I saved it here and click on OK. So once you click on OK now you modify anything in the library so if you will click over here now I'll go to the uh, this is the library so I can select this document uh, I will go to uh, the uh, you can see here properties so I can actually change the properties here for example I will say module something like this and uh, you can also change the other values that you want suppose I will make it to SPFX training and uh, this way and once you uh, do this then uh, this will be saved as a uh, version so you can see here you can say uh, just edit and then click on save both way you can do it will be auto saved if you have not do this way and you can see here now we have changed something so I will actually go here and you can see click on this version history from where actually you can check it or you can see how many versions has been created so you can click on that 
and then if you'll see here now the last version you can see here this is what we changed uh, SPFX training so uh, and you can see here it is already created various versions because we have uh, uh, I, I, I used to create some version or modify the document so it will create one one uh, versions over here now you can see here these two got created now uh, if you want to restore you can simply select any version here and then you can say restore or even you can click on view and then you will be able to see uh, what is exactly the things that you have modified so you can do that way apart from that also let me go back to the version history again and you can see here there is an option which is saying delete all versions so you can actually delete all versions now if you'll see here now this is what is the spfx training and and module one is there or title column is not there so you can anytime edit and uh, come back to the title column but let me just restore a previous version so i'll go to the version history now let us say this one i will restore you can see i'll click on ok and once you restore you can see here it is changed back to sharepoint development training and if you click over here you can just see here now it is sharepoint uh, uh, development training this course and most importantly when you restore it you can see here it created another version you can see here there is version 6.0 now so this is how you can work with uh, the library version so anything you will modify on that it will create as a version now let me go back to a SharePoint list. You can see here, this is my SharePoint list. We have uh, some documents, some, sorry, some items over here. Let me go back, go to, you can see here, click on the settings icon, then go to the list settings page. Basically, you have the same option, click on versioning settings. And if you'll come back here, uh, you can see, I said before that the versioning is disabled for a list and you can see here create version each time you edit an item it is by default no that means it will not create any version now i will click on yes and i can put here 100 uh, let's say and then click on ok so once you click on ok uh, now the versioning is enabled here and if you will see here now you can see there is version history and you will not see more because just now only we have enabled and that's what it is 1 1.0 version now let me go back and we can click on edit this grid view and probably i will modify something future updates let's say no lifetime access let's say no like this and duration maybe i will put it to 75 hours and i will say exit create view now if you'll see here this is what the changes that we have done let us check the version history so click on this triple icon it will open the ec menu here click on version history and you will be able to see a version you can see here these are the things that we have changed it and if you want to restore uh, you can click over here and you, you can restore it because this is your latest version 2.0 i don't want these changes so i will click here and i will say restore you can see here you are, you are about to replace the current version with the selected version go ahead click on ok and another version got created you can see here and 3.0 will have the previous values which are it was there here so if i will come back here you can see here now it is 70 hours future updates yes lifetime access yes so this way you can able to enable versioning or you, for a sharepoint online list and it will be same for classic uh, SharePoint uh, list as well. Only difference is, let me go back to, to a classic experience. Let me just click over here. Only difference is you will go to the list settings and then you can see here from ribbon you can go at, over there. Apart from that you will have the same versioning settings and the same page will open where you can set it. So everything is same except the way you will navigate to your list settings page which is from the ribbon instead of uh, from this gear icon so this is how you can work with versioning so if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel you'll get a lot of free tutorials on sharepoint office 365 spfx power platform all these videos you will get it free so subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification immediately i'll upload a video thank you and have a nice day